Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super excited because it's my deck of panning update. I think it's update number six. Let me check. Yes, update number six. I'm actually sort of on time this month. I'm filming this on the 23rd, so not bad. My last update was, um, I think it was like three months in one because I didn't have time to film. <laughs> so, but even so, I still have some exciting products to roll out today, including an empty. I am so excited. So yeah, we'll just get started because I'm trying to film before the sun starts going down. So what do I need to say? So this <laughs> project was created by Emily from Emily and Max. She's always linked down below with her intro and how-to video and this is just a really fun project. You basically use a deck of cards to pull prompts from a game board that she created. She was inspired by a booktuber named Books with Maddie. All the information is below as usual so and this is my sixth update like I said so I think you probably know what's going on here. So First, I'm just going to pull up my um, Excel sheet. <laughs> okay, so the first thing is actually probably the most exciting, but it just happens to also be the first thing on my list. I am finally getting rid of this stupid Physician's Formula <laughs> PP cream. If you guys have been following along, this has been like under the window for like months and it felt like it was just never ending. I finally used it for the last time today. I tried to get more out to see if there was more, if I could like use more next time, but it's really like nothing is coming out at all. Even today, like it was mostly air coming out and I really struggled trying to get every last drop because I still see some product along here but I think that's just like dried up along the sides and I'm not about to like cut this open and whatever I've had this for probably like three years <laughs> and this was rolled in for the prompt oldest product because it was the oldest foundation in my collection it's a BB cream but it's in my foundation category and I'm so glad that it's finally over so yeah, this is the first product I am rolling out. It doesn't exist anymore anyway. And the shade range is not good, so I wouldn't recommend it even <laughs> if it was available. So yeah, finally getting this in my empties, putting this in my empties bin. Um, the second product, I'm actually rolling this out too, is my Aether Beauty Pure Diamond Dust Highlighter. This was rolled in for the prompt highlight. I used my Tiny Decisions app to roll randomly. That's how I came to this one. You're not going to see much. Um, this was brand new when I rolled it in, but I did use it I think 11 or 12 times. I only had a goal to use 10 and then I stopped counting, but I know I used it more than that. But this is what it's looking like. I mean, there is a tiny dip where I was using it for an inner corner highlighter where I would put my brush. But other than that, like I just kind of went over the whole thing with my fan brush. I really like this. It's one of my favorite highlighters in my collection, so yeah, I was happy to focus on it, but I will put it back in my collection. The next product is not doing so well. My Drunk Elephant Umber Tint. <laughs> I rolled this in, well, this is what it looks like from the side, so there's only that much left, but I rolled this in for SPF. Although it's expired and I don't think the SPF is even functional anymore, I really just wanted to finish this because it was kind of expensive. It's Drunk Elephant. Um, I thought I would be able to get more use. I didn't think I'd finish it by this update, but I thought I would use it more than I have, and I kind of just forgot about it. So, yeah, I was trying to think of ways to use this aside from as like my primer, because that's how I've been using it. 
And then I was like, maybe I can mix it in to like a lotion, but I can't do that because this is a tinted sunscreen and it actually transfers super easily. So if I were to put it in a lotion, it would get like all over my clothes. So I don't think I can do that either. <laughs> so I think, I don't know, it still smells fine. The formula is fine. I like how it looks on my skin because it has like a nice glow to it also. I just don't reach for it for whatever reason, even though it's in my everyday makeup drawer. I think I'm gonna keep this in for one more round because the goal on this one is to use it up. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it in for one more round. If I don't reach for it, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this because like I said, it is expired. It's like way over expiration. I checked this, oh yeah, 2020, <laughs> that's when it expired. So yeah, most people would probably just throw this away, but I just really want to get that last amount. If you guys can think of another way I can use this, please let me know. But yeah, I'm going to just keep this in for one more round and we'll see what happens. The next product I have is another oldest product prompt. And I chose a lipstick. I did not use this at all. <laughs> this is my Aveda Goji Berry lipstick. I don't know. I don't know. This is also extremely old, but it still smells fine. And the formula is nice, so I'm going to keep it. I have a goal to use this 10 times. I didn't use it at all so but i think now that it's fall maybe i'll use it more i don't know <laughs> well yeah that's all i have to say about this one pretty disappointing um then i have the prompt glowy and for that i pulled in my vdl lumi layer primer fresh i started keeping this in my everyday makeup drawer so now it's on its side so you're not really going to see how much I used but I have been using this a lot I've actually used this seven of the ten times already so this is definitely going to be rolled out next time this is actually another product that expired according to the bottom it expired in 2021 <laughs> I don't know what that means for a primer like, why is there an expiry date? Maybe it has SPF in it, but I don't think so. Um, yeah, so this is just a really nice glowy primer. I am wearing it today, and I'm, I'm fine with keeping it in to at least use three more times. The last product I also did not reach for once. It's my Touch and Soul Metalist Duo thing in Margaret. It is this here. I actually might move this to my everyday makeup drawer because I'm not reaching for it in my Shop My Stash. This product was originally in my Shop My Stash, but I rolled it in this project for the Prompt Glittery because I have five of these and I never reach for them and they're getting old and like dry. So I really would like to use this at least a few times before it can't be used anymore and this is a really nice shade for fall it's like a coppery bronzy shade so i'm gonna put this in my everyday makeup drawer and hope that i reach for it but yeah i have not used that one time my goal is to use it 10 so that's gonna be in for a while but we are rolling out two products and if I roll out two products, I'm at one, two, three, four. I'm only at four. So usually I roll in two more products every update because I, I think I've had something, at least one thing to roll out in every update. But I always roll in two because it's fun. Maybe today I'll roll in three. We'll see. Because I'm doing pretty good with this project. Um, so I have my cards here, and I will pull up the game board. 
The game board is also linked below if you're wondering like what I'm following for the prompts. And I'm gonna remove one of the jokers because you only need to have one. And if you get the joker, you have to choose a product that you really wouldn't want to pan. So I think in the past I said that would be a red lipstick, but then I actually pulled in a red lipstick like voluntarily. So I don't know what that would be now. Anyway, I'll think about it if I get there. Hopefully I don't. So I'm just shuffling these cards very badly because I'm terrible at shuffling. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, I'm scared. So I said three. Okay, we'll start with two because in the past I've kept getting the add one product. Let me just knock on wood. So I split the deck and everything. I'm just gonna pull from the top. Oh, okay. I pulled two by accident, so let's say it's the Eight of Hearts, and I'll put the other card back. Eight of Hearts. The Eight of Hearts is skincare. That's gonna be so easy for me. Okay, because if you guys didn't know, I also have a skincare project kind of thing, which I need to film an update for. But yeah, that's motivating because skincare is something I do use up and yeah, that should be good. So I'm definitely going to pull in two more because I want this to be a project that I work on makeup mostly. So let's do another. I'm having trouble, okay, picking up one. Oh no, Ace of Clubs. Add another product. <laughs> so that means I have to add two because you need to replace that one and then add another one. So, four of hearts. Yes, four of hearts is foundation. Oh my God. Well, I guess it's fitting because I need to replace this thing with something. Okay. Now the plus one, Ace of Diamonds. The Ace of Diamonds is pick your space. Okay, so that means I just pick like anything on the board. Yeah, choose whichever space slash prompt on the board you'd like. That's too much decision making. What would I like? Okay, there's metallic. Matches shirt. Okay, it's not. No, I'm wearing black, so no. <laughs> um, balancing act, partner choice, pretty packaging, nostalgic, winter. Oh, I could choose autumn because it's fall. Actually, okay, let me let me think about that because I still need to choose one more thing and I might pick like one of those prompts queen of hearts scared project graveyard okay that is good so I was actually thinking what if I land on that what would I do and I actually have like because last year I was doing a project pan, like I think I called it like full collection or no, full face project pan or something. So I was, I still have that Excel sheet so I can just go back to that and choose something from there. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have four things. How did I end up? <laughs> I have four things to choose and I will come back with those products. Okay, I'm back with my products. I'm pretty happy about this. It was not very easy though <laughs> to choose these things. So for skincare, I thought like, I don't wanna cheat. Like I don't wanna use something that I'm using every day anyway. Cause a lot of the skincare I'm using right now is actually almost empty. 
And then I thought like, what's a category that I don't reach for? And that is my facial oils. For some reason, I just stopped doing that step, although I used to do it all the time. So I chose my Garnier Bio Organic Lavendin Smooth and Glow Facial Oil. So I actually love this product. I got it from Influencer a while ago. Let me just see that it's still good. Yeah, I mean, it's not that old. I remember loving this, but like I said, for some reason I just stopped using face oils, but I probably should start again because it's getting colder. So I'm already down to here. I won't be able to finish this, <laughs> that's for sure. But if I use this 10 times, and then we'll see where I'm at. Because I think I use like three drops of this at a time. I put it in my hands and then I just like press it into the skin. Yeah, let me try and use it ten times. And if it becomes part of my routine, maybe I'll just use it up. We'll see. So we'll say ten times for this. I'm trying to go quickly now because the sun is going down very fast. Okay, for foundation... Um, this one was also hard. I was because none of my foundations are anywhere close to being done <laughs> and I didn't want to pull like my oldest one again because I don't really feel like working on that one. So I just took the one that's in my shop my stash right now my wet n wild photo focus. I'm going to say I'll use this 10 times. There's like no progress on this whatsoever although I've used it I would say more than five times in my life, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, so ten times on this. The only thing I'm worried about is it might be a little too light for me right now that we're just coming out of summer. But we'll see. I can make it work if not. So ten times. And this is the f uh, dewy version, if I didn't say. Then for, I don't remember what order this was anymore, for Graveyard, right? Graveyard Project? No. What? Project Graveyard. <laughs> I brought, I'm bringing back my Hourglass Mood Exposure, if you guys remember this from last year's Project Pan. This is just a mini of their Mood Exposure blush. I've already, like kind of worn down a little. It's still domed but I think it's less domed than it used to be and I think this would be a great shade for fall because it's like a mauve shade like this. This is usually like a winter blush for me but we'll see. I, I mean you can't really see anything. Um, hourglass blushes don't swatch well because they're infused with like glow powder or whatever so they look best on the face but I know I really like this shade anyway so it won't be hard for me to use this I'm gonna say 10 times as well and then the last product was pick your space so basically I tried to be strategic and look at what is a category that I'm not working on already and that is bronzer and then I was like well now I don't know what bronzer <laughs> to choose so I used my tiny decisions app and I rolled a random bronzer and I got this one I haven't even mentioned this on my channel yet it's the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear bronzer um, this was in my new makeup drawer in a bag of like drugstore stuff that I was gonna do a try on haul with anyway so maybe more motivation to film that video finally but I'm excited about this because I've heard really good reviews I picked up the shade light medium um, it looks like this I don't know I haven't even touched this yet it seems oh that is very smooth that's the shade okay that could be really good okay I'm excited about this now 
So yeah, 10 times for this one too. Why is there, oh, there's a mirror. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's exciting. A new, a brand new product to me. Um, yeah. So I think I have a really good mix of things again. Um, so I replaced, you know, my BB cream with another foundation, but that's okay. And yeah, all these other products should be easy enough to use for like a daily, like an everyday look. Except for that stupid <laughs> um, glitter duo. I don't know, I'm really going to have to put some effort into this. But for next time, what could roll out? Well, yeah, like I said, this will roll out if I don't reach for it again. It's just going to be considered done. Oh, and my primer. This will be rolled out too, for sure. Because I already used it 7 of the 10 times. And yeah, we'll just keep going. So, there's a plane. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!